Can you do me a massive favor? Can you keep an eye on this golf ball? I haven't played in a while. Because on this episode, a World Twilight Golfer, we're headed to Maryland, and there's 160 golf courses to look at and choose. We're going to be breaking down the top public golf courses in Maryland. But before we do, take a look at our channel. We're hitting all the golf courses across the country in each state, and we're ranking them. So I wouldn't want to miss that. So make sure you subscribe below before we get started. So let's zoom in to number 10 on this list, University of Maryland Golf Course. Now this is incredible golf to start us off. The course is a par 72 that stretches 7,015 yards. It has a slope of 137 and a ranking of 30 or 73.7. It was built in 1965 and has Bermuda fairways and bluegrass greens. It was open year round and was built by George Cobb in 1955 and major updates by Bill Love in 2008. So that this is a great golf course to start us off. Not only that, it's a fun golf course to start us off. But before we do, we got a ton of more golf courses to look at. So let's zoom out because we're going to be headed to number nine on this list and we're going to be slowly getting to some of the championship golf courses across maryland let's zoom in to number nine which is a fun 18 hole golf course there on the river river marsh golf club this resort style course is a par 71 that stretches 6801 yards has a slope of 132 and a ranking of 73 course was designed by Keith Foster in 2002, is open year-round, has bent green fairways, and is just an overall great golf course. Now, we got some great golf. We're going to be still looking at eight more golf courses to choose from. So let's zoom in to our number eight golf course on this list. And this one is a local favorite course is a par 72 that stretches 6,034 yards. The course is a par 72 that stretches 7,034 yards with a ranking of 74.7 and a slope of 145. Just great championship golf here. Bent green fairways and bent green putting surfaces are at this golf course. And this was an incredible one here. And a little bit more information on it. It was, course was designed by Clark and Associates. And just an incredible, famous golf course that everyone should be trying to be playing. Now, we're going to be zooming into number seven here. And this is a great golf course. That is Whiskey Creek Golf Club. Now, this par 72 stretches just over 7,000 yards at 7,001 course is a slope of 138 and a ranking of 74.6. Of course was built in 2000 and was designed by Ernie Els. Interesting. The course has almost won top three golf courses. In 2001, it named number two for Golf Illustrator for top golf courses in Maryland. Again, some of that is bias. And in this website or this uh, channel, we look at everything and we rank them. So number six on this list, this course, the links at the lighthouse. This is a must play. I've, I have it at number six, the ranking online. It's not as good as the footage here. And this is just an incredible golf course that if we were to look back at this uh, ranking, we would probably put it higher on this list. And we will be updating these as we move forward. So this course will be higher. The course stretches along 7,031 yards, has a slope of 138, a ranking of 74.6, and is a par 72. The course was built in 2000 by Arthur Hills, famous golf architect that has numerous golf courses all over the place. So let's zoom into number five because we just broke number five. Another course right there on the water. Look at this one. This one, Queen Town Harbor Golf Links. Championship golf course here. We'll pick the river course here, which stretches seven six seven thousand 
196 yards and a slope of 135 and a ranking of 74.2. But it's going to bring us into the top four golf courses now. Just over on the west side, we are looking at some championship golf here. And we're looking at a resort style golf course that's a par 72, just completely wooded it. And it's long, it's a long course. It stretches 7,475 yards. Of course, has a slope of, of 142 and a ranking of 74, 76, wow, 76.1. It was built in 2000, has won numerous awards throughout its opening. This was designed by Hale Irwin, and it also has bent grass and bent fairways. Bent grass, putting greens, and bent fairways. That's great. And it's going to bring us into the top three golf courses now for Maryland. If you made it this far, I recommend subscribing. We're going to be hitting all the golf courses. We're only looking at public ones that we can play. So here it is. Lake Presidential Golf Club. And this is a presidential golf course. This is one of the best golf courses in Maryland. The course is a par 72 that stretches 7,060 yards. It has a slope of 137 and a ranking of 74.3 course was built in 2008 it is open year-round and has all the amenities a presidential golf course would have in 2018 it was ranked number five for top 15 most improved u.s golf courses throughout the united states and it's got great rankings online which push it to number three on this list but there's still some great golf left there's two more courses that we haven't taken a look at and they are the top two golf courses public golf courses in maryland arguably the top golf courses in maryland so let's zoom in to number two here the links at perry cabin and we're looking at a par 72 that stretches 7023 yards it has a slope of 148 and a ranking of 74.3 course was built in 2008 and it was built by the famous golf architect Pete Dye has bent green fairways and grass and also has all the amenities you would need for championship golf as well as the last one but there's one more golf course left the ultimate presidential golf course in Maryland now let's zoom in to our number one golf course for Maryland public golf courses and this one is an absolute gem. We hope to play it pretty soon. You're looking at a par 72 that stretches a long 7,375 yards. It has a ranking of 76.6 and a slope of 148. The course was built in 2000 and, oh no, built in 1988. Has bent grass fairways. It also has won top golf course in Maryland numerous times now we update this list every year so keep a lookout for more videos to come probably going to move some of these around as we look at maryland again but that's going to do it for this video if you made it this far keep a lookout for more videos make sure you hit that subscribe button and most importantly we just have one thing to say heads up